In the world of modern aerial combat, two fighter jets are sparking heated debates among aviation experts and defense analysts worldwide. One is the pride of France, the Dassault Rafale. The other, China's ambitious answer to Western air power, the Chengdu J-10C. But which one really dominates the skies? Which aircraft offers better agility, firepower, stealth, and combat capabilities? Today, we pit the Rafale against the J-10C, head-to-head, in one of the most anticipated modern fighter comparisons. Let's begin with a quick background. The Dassault Rafale, developed by France in the 1980s and 90s, is a twin-engine, 4.5-generation multi-role fighter. Known for its delta wing and canard configuration, the Rafale is a battle-tested aircraft with combat experience in Afghanistan, Libya, Mali, and Syria. In contrast, the Jehan-C, developed by China's Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, is the most advanced variant of the J-10 family. Introduced in the mid-2010s, the J-10C is a single-engine, multi-role fighter equipped with advanced avionics, ASA radar, and stealth features. It's widely seen as China's answer to modern Western jets and is in service with both the PLAAF and Pakistan Air Force. Let's talk about design. The Rafale features a canard delta wing configuration that provides incredible maneuverability at both low and high speeds. It's optimized for both air superiority and ground attack, giving it true multi-role capability. The J-10C also uses a canard Delta layout, inspired heavily by the Israeli Lavi and supported by Russian engine tech. While its design favors speed and agility, its aerodynamic profile isn't as refined as the Rafale, especially in high-G dogfighting conditions. However, the J-10C is lighter and has a slightly smaller radar cross-section than its predecessors, giving it some edge in stealth and speed. When it comes to raw performance, the Rafale is powered by two Snecma M88 engines, capable of pushing the jet to Mach 1.8 and giving it a high thrust-to-weight ratio. The twin-engine layout also provides added safety and reliability in combat. The J-10C is powered by a single WS-10B turbofan engine, offering a top speed of around Mach 2.0. While impressive on paper, early WS series engines faced quality issues. However, China has made major improvements in recent years, enhancing reliability and thrust. Rust. Still, Rafale's twin engines offer superior performance during extended missions, especially in hostile environments. Now to the brains of the operation, the radar and avionics. The Rafale comes equipped with the Thales RBE-2 AAAESA radar, which provides superior target tracking, electronic warfare capabilities, and greater situational awareness, even against stealthy targets. Now, let's talk firepower. The Rafale can carry over 9.5 tons of weapons, including the Meteor Beyond Visual Range Missile, a game-changer with a no-escape zone exceeding 60 kilometers. It also supports scalp cruise missiles, mica air-to-air missiles, and laser-guided bombs. The J-10C, meanwhile, boasts advanced PL-10 short-range and PL-15 long-range missiles. The PL-15 is particularly dangerous. With an estimated range of over 200 kilometers, it may outperform even the Meteor in some aspects. But here's the catch. While the J-10C can carry impressive Chinese-made weapons, the Rafale's Western arsenal is battle-tested and has a proven record in actual combat zones. In terms of real-world combat experience, Rafale has seen action in several war zones, from surgical airstrikes in Libya to anti-terror operations in Syria. This battle hardening gives it a significant edge in operational maturity. On the other hand, the J-10C has not seen actual combat yet. While it has participated in numerous drills and joint exercises, especially especially with Pakistan, its performance under fire remains untested. The Rafale has found buyers in India, Egypt, Greece, Croatia, and the UAE, and it commands a high price, estimated at around $100 million per unit with full weapons and training packages. The J-10C is much cheaper, around $30 to $40 million per unit, and has been exported to Pakistan, its most prominent international customer. The lower cost and Chinese support packages make it attractive for countries with limited defense budgets. So, what's the verdict? The Rafale
mail is more expensive, but it's a battle-proven, versatile, and technologically superior fighter. Its advanced EW suite, long-range Meteor missiles, and twin-engine safety make it ideal for air superiority and strike missions alike. The J-10C, meanwhile, offers excellent value for money. It's fast, agile, and armed with cutting-edge Chinese weaponry. For countries aligned with China or operating on tighter budgets, it presents a solid option, especially in numbers. In the end, it comes down to mission profiles and strategy. If you want quality, survivability, and combat experience, the Rafale takes the crown. If you're focused on cost efficiency and modern capabilities, the J-10C punches well above its price. So, what do you think? Which fighter jet would you trust in a dogfight? The French Rafale or the Chinese J-10C? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth military comparisons.